the SEC Edgar has recently made changes to its website that's made downloading the financial data for a company a little more tricky to figure out. So it used to be pretty obvious and was right there on the website, and now you can't really find it. But I've figured out a way we can do a little workaround here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to need this little link for your browser. And I've attached this link into the description of the video below, so you can grab it there. Now, we're going to have to modify it. This link by itself is not going to work because we're going to have to replace the CIK with the CIK of every company, and we're going to have to, with, with the unique company that we're tracking, and we're going to have to replace the accession number right here. So this part, we're going to have to replace this as well. The accession number is a unique number for every filing. So this is for every filing, and this is for every company. So let me just show you how this works. The first thing we need to do is we need to find the CIK, and we need to find the accession number for the company that we are looking for. So let's hop over to the SEC uh, Edgar database. I'll start from scratch. So I'm just going to go SEC Edgar just in Google, just kind of popping that up. And you can see it's right here. I can punch in Walmart WMT. You can see it's got the CIK number. I'm not actually going to grab that right away because I can do it all at once. I'll show you that in a second. Let me just cl click on Walmart there. Then I'm going to cl click the 10K. Uh, if it comes down here. I'm going to grab the filing for the March 20. Uh, 14th 2025 10k you can see I've already done this before that's why it's purple but that's okay so I've grabbed that and you can see it's all right here okay this is everything we need so this first part here is the accession number itself so I'm gonna grab that well the first thing I'm gonna do so before I do that sorry hop back over here I'm gonna just gonna grab this link I'm gonna hit control C and I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to pop it in right here. Now you can see it's not going to work. It's going to say, oh, you've got some bad data here. That's because I've got to replace the CIK and I've got to replace this accession number right here. Okay. So let's go back to the Edgar filing. Here is the accession number. It's just this very first part here, right before the hyphen. I'm just going to grab that, hit Control C. I'm going to hop back over to my website here and I'm going to overwrite the CIK number here okay boom now I'm gonna go back to Edgar and I'm gonna grab the whole thing this time that whole thing I'm gonna hit control C there go back to the website and you can see it says accession number without hyphens so first I'm gonna paste it with the hyphens okay so it's not gonna work right away but now I'm gonna take out those hyphens so there's one there or dash, whatever we want to call that. Call that a little hyphen dash. And if I hit enter, boom, this should work. And so you can see it downloaded something. Let's pull up what it downloaded. Give it a second. And voila, I've got Walmart's 10K all downloaded right into my Excel spreadsheet. I've got the consolidated statement of income. I've got the uh, balance sheet right there. I've got the statement of shareholders equity. I've got the statement of cash flow. If you're still wondering, I don't see the name Walmart up here. Did I really grab Walmart? Well, you can hop over to some of the footnotes here and you can see the Walmart name right there. So you know you've got Walmart. And that's how you do it. So I uh, hope this works for you. And if it does, please give me a thumbs up because this is where I make finance fun for students. Thank you.